I've said more times than I can count that art is my passion. However, I rarely ever talk specifically about the artwork I create and my thought process before, during, and after I'm finished with the project. So starting today, I like to make videos discussing the work I do and generally what goes on when I make them. Since I got finished with it recently, I'll be breaking down my latest artwork, Midsummer Island, and going into full detail about it. I'll break this down into parts from initial sketching to finishing touches. So first off, the initial sketching. It honestly was a bit more nerve-wracking getting back into digital art, so I tried doing what I did when I started, but also mixing it up a bit, sticking to references and bases, but modifying them enough to not exactly be the same. I tried using poses that had best fit the characters I was working with. Speaking of, the reason why I chose the three characters from Genshin is because, well, one, I like all of them, and two, I want to make a work centered around Shinyan. Anyone familiar with my second channel knows that I love this mocha thighed rebel rock star to death. The choice of characters around her was out of a bit of research. Beto and Shinyan are good friends, even if Beto doesn't have the same taste in music as she does. But she's more than willing to support her and be there for her, and I admire that in her character. Kuching surprisingly actually likes her music, despite being fairly skeptical and even critical about many things in life, even food. Each pose was done out of a sense of personality, as well as the hairstyles. Shinyan is a passionate musician that makes her performances a blast. I felt that her pose from the official artwork was best suited for her. Beto is very laid back, more than happy to enjoy the feel of the ocean with a bottle of liquor in hand and a comforting smile on her face, and I try to reflect that with the pose. Kuching is a diligent worker, but isn't a stranger to relaxation. I felt more of an upright, attentive pose suited her best. As for the hair, generally for a lot of my artwork, there's no real variety to the hairstyles I draw. That is until my last piece before this where I attempted to create curls with a Japanese and or Chinese art aesthetic towards water. I tried going for something similar with Shinyan, making her hair look and feel like flames in this particular style. With Beto, I thought trying to make it come off more as the wind or a gentle breeze would better suit her. And with Kuching, I tried my best to make it come off as cat fur considering that her character isn't too unlike one. This is sort of first time around for that on my part though, so hopefully the more I do this the better it will look. As for the clothing... I try my best. <laughs> my struggle in drawing clothing, you can kind of see with Beto, how it kind of looks like her outfit, but I could have done a lot better with it. Shinyan, as much as I love her, god was her outfit a pain to draw. It lacks unity and symmetry, so each side of the outfit has something different going on. I switched up the pattern on the accessories hanging down on her sleeves to help emphasize that idea though. I'd say the most troubling part of it all was the guitar, just trying to make it right and trying to make it the correct angle. I thought about going all in with the detail, like with Kuching in the past when I drew her, but it was down to the pixel when I did and there just wasn't enough room. I tried the strings on Shinya's guitar and it just did not work, so I said, nah, screw it, do what you can and move on. I tried to get hung up on one part of a drawing and concentrate on the rest so that I can finish it. I don't want to end up making one part take fucking weeks to do then the rest look like I barely put a day's work into it. The lighting and shading on backgrounds such as the ones I do with Genshin Impact I really enjoy making, primarily on rock and mountainsides. For coloring, I like to use this hairbrush in Autodesk, it gives off this really beautiful visual when done right, and the nice fuzzy texture when I use for lighting and shading. I really love working with it. Hence why a lot, if not almost all of my works include me going in with it to some level of degree. Honestly, the reason why I chose this location, the Golden Apple Archipelago, was because I initially had more plans for more characters in the center around the story. Clean Albedo, Jean and Barbara, but about the time when I started my new job and it was almost the end of August and we were moving on to autumn, I, I decided not to. Initially with my ideas, I want to do a lot more, but for certain reasons, be it time or difficulty or just trouble really visualizing it, I decide to skip on certain ideas. However, many times over with my work, I like to improvise on the spot, bringing out ideas and details that I didn't plan before, but I think it's a good idea. The detail at the end there with the lighting and the sun and the shading of the cliff covering the characters, that was last minute. 
Even though admittingly it does make some of my work over the month go unnoticed unless you look real hard, I still think it's a nice detail to add. My improv drawing isn't always the best to me, but I still have fun with it. Pretty much any artwork I'm not working with an actual background and painting over and try to recreate, like with this, is improv. While I like to have an idea of what I'm doing, being able to let my mind roam free and wander on the page and make something, even though I'm not sure what it could look like in the end, is a part of what I love about making art. It's that leap of faith. I, I don't know what it'll look like in the end, but I like to believe it's something good. Originally I had another name for this, but I forgot it. <laughs> and I instead went with the name the Archipelago was a part of for an event, but yeah, pretty much my process on what I was thinking making this work. But, but yeah, pretty much that's my process on what I was thinking making this work. But later down the line, I hope to get my other works in. Later down the line, I hope to get my other works in. If any of you are interested in hearing my thoughts on certain works like I did in the past, don't feel free to let me know. I love my work and I have absolutely no problem talking about it. And if you have a problem with my work and how I draw, why don't you come say that shit to my face so I can cook you dinner so we can talk about it.